Welcome to the Urban Cowgirl Show. It has been weeks since we've worked my heifers. So we decided today as an introduction to our next session where we're going to eventually get into the forecart. We're not even going to hook up the forecart, but we've hooked up everything else. All right, girls. And you can see they're pretty docile, but they're prey animals, so we have to be very careful. We have the double yoke on. It's all right, girls. They're sur singles with their britchin. It's all right, girls. We have, it's all right, girls, it's all right. See, one, if one gets spooked, the other one will too. We're being very, very conservative today. We've got our homemade cross-check drive lines. It's all right, girls, it's all right. And we definitely have a person at the head because eventually we want to have full control driving with these homemade drive lines but we don't feel comfortable doing that today. I see this uh, carabiner is breaking. It's all right, Easy. girls. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right, girls. So it fell off. Yeah, that's why it was off. It's all right, girls. I, don't, I want to do everything very slowly. It's all right, girls. This chain keeps their hips together. We're going to have to get a better carabiner for back here. We're not going to move a lot today, if at all. We just wanted to give the girls a reminder what it feels like to have all this tack on. It's all right, girls. These are under the... Yeah, I see that. Thank you. I was doing that. All the tack has to be in the right position, too. We can't be drive lining under this chain. We don't want to apply pressure where we don't mean to. There we go. It's all right, girls. Even that they're standing still right now is important. It's all right, girls. All right. So, and I've got a short arm extension. I'm going to stay close by. Of course, when I am in the four card, I'm going to need a much longer arm extension. We're just going to see if we can walk forward a few steps. If it goes well, we'll do a hot turn and come back towards the camera. All right, so we only have halters on. We don't have side pulls on or anything else on their heads, but we've noticed that in the past, halter pressure on their nose seemed to be enough. Okay, Seal is on my right. Susie, her mom, is on my left. We're going to go maybe five, six steps. If it's going well, we'll do a Ha turn. Step up. Step up, girls. Step up. Step up. Ha. Ha. I'm pulling a little with the left. Good, girls. Step up. Ha. Towards the camera. Step up. I was pulling a little with my left. No, I'm pulling with my right because I'm trying to keep Sela head on head with Susie. You see, we have our double yoke on, our homemade double yoke. But that's made of electrical conduit, and if they decided that they one would go one way, the other the other way, I'd be a little bit worried that the conduit would break or that they would hurt themselves on their necks. We're jing all the way around towards the camera again. Can't apply constant pressure here. Give and take, give and take. Ooh. Steady. Whoa. Beautiful. Now. The four card has wheels. I'm just going to say, can we do a couple steps backwards? Because if you end up somewhere where you don't want to be, sometimes instead of G or hawing, you just want to back up. So they have to learn how to do that too. And it's better to practice without the four card attached. Okay, so I'm going to say, I call them the girls, and I'm going to ask them to B A C K. Okay. Okay. A little bit of a tug. Back. Back. Back, 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 back. 
Good. Now see, Susie's head was kind of turned to the right. She was tilting her head. We've got to get her to understand that she has to keep her head and her neck and her back in a straight line. Let's step up towards the camera again. Step up, girls. Step up. Steady. Ho! That's all for today. Sonia Soklo, the Urban Cowgirl with Susie and Sela, my mini zebus, and my helper, Sarah. After the session, we noticed that we installed the double yoke upside down. However, with a light load, there is no problem pulling when the ubo is over rather than under the neck. Today, we are going to repeat what we did briefly in our last session. This time, we have the yoke on correctly uh, with the ubo under the necks. And um, we are prepared to move a little farther, a little faster. And if my cameraman can zoom over to here, we're thinking of next time hooking up our forecart with our very long arm extension. Today I just have a piece of PVC that's going to be a short arm extension, going to help me keep the hips together. And we're going to move out today um, into the obstacles area. And we have mics on so that if I have something to say when we're farther away from the camera, I hope you'll be able to hear me. Okay, so this is repetition with a next baby step. Step up, girls. Step up. Good. On the way back, we might remove the lead lines. Step up, ha. Ha. Good. We're going to go over there beyond the tree and ha around it. And then we're going to G and come back. Step up, ha. Ha. Tugging. Ha. Good. Ha. Yeah. Okay, we, the far side of the tree, ha, on the tee, ha, good, nice girls, ha, Okay, I'm going to G here, tree stump, G, 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 little tugging with my cross check reins on Susie, who's on the G side. They tend to follow each other. If I can get the one of them to turn in the correct direction, ha, 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 ha. Ah, I have to pull pretty hard. We're going to ha. Over our L obstacle. Ha, girls. Ha. Very nice. I hope you could hear me when I was so far away. Let me just, whoa. Whoa. Nice whoa. Uh, the leaves made a lot of noise. And they were a little bit, uh, a little bit stressed with the ha direction. With all those obstacles and those trees, that's just going to take repetition. Now I'm going to ask Sarah and Kyle to take the lead lines off, but join up. That is, the girls will be thinking that they're hooked up. Uh, and Sarah and Kyle will be there in case there's trouble. We're going to take the same path. Repetition is important. Step up, girls. Step up. Step up. Ha. Huh? Whoa. Uh oh, cross check lines. Whoa, yeah, I see. Cross check lines were wrong a few minutes ago. Now we've got them correct. Okay, I'm going to see if I can get her, uh, them to ha over right away before forward because we've got a fence here. Ha, huh? there you go. Beautiful. Step up. G, G, beautiful. Ha, ha, good, ha, ha, good, good, step
Step up, girls. A lot of leak noise here from the cover. Ah. Huh? Ah. Very nice. It's all around this tree. These pear trees. Good, beautiful, very light. Ha, huh? little tug. That's the one on my left. I've got to get her to haw. Good. If she haws, then long. Going over a stump here. Step up. Over the L. Piece of vinyl rail. Now, we're going to try to line up in front of this four cart. Ha. Huh? Huh? All right, now let's see if I can get them to ha huh, and straighten out. Ha? Huh? Ha? Huh? Yes. Yes. They, they are going to learn that they need to stay together. And then we're going to say, Sarah, can you just come up here and bring this four cart shaft between them? That can be a little bit scary. Kyle is there. Wait a minute, let's put your lead line is on. Let Kyle hold them both, just in case we have a spook. We're getting ready for our next session where we actually want to hook this four cart shaft up. We made this four cart uh, from an old hay cart. Can you look at it with the camera? It's on prior shows, but haven't shown it lately. And you see just a lunge line as, a, as a, an arm extension, not a lunge line, but a lunge whip. Okay, here we go. It's all right, girls. I'm going to be off to the side here, out of the way. Good. Good girls. Kyle, you can help her hold. Good. Good. Now I want to make sure my reins are going to be long enough. Good girls. I'm putting my PVC short arm extension down, getting my lunge whip long arm extension. What's that? Are we going to connect? Uh, I don't think so. No, I'm not going to do that. But you know what? I'm pretty sure that next time, well, what do you think? We've got a team of four. They're being pretty quiet. Okay, we have to make it, go ahead and connect. Now we've got four, we've got somebody at the, at the camera. If there's an, a, an issue, good girls. I'm not gonna move, but you know what? So far, do we have agreement? I'm gonna get in. Okay. Anybody have a question about that? See, when I get in, Noises. It's all right, girls. Good girls. Good girls. Same cross check reins. It's all right, girls. Making noise, trying not to. Good girl. We're not going to move. I am so thrilled with this progress. There we go. I hope next time we'll get to show you. We go up the path here with this four cart, and then behind the four cart, we can be pulling things. Steady now, girls. We can be pulling things, logs, harrows, whatever we need to do farming here at Shadrack Farms. It's all for today. Sonia Sokol, the urban cowgirl. We're doing some more cross-check driveline work with the heifers today. We're going to go in the other direction. With livestock, you always want to go in both directions. Um, Rusty, the bull, is rather hormonal today, and so the heifers are a little bit uh, spooky. Uh, we probably won't even try to hook up the four cart. Tim, can you zoom in on it again? It's ready to go, but we have to make sure that the heifers are comfortable, are confident. You can tell that there is some hormonal behavior going on here because uh, Susie's butt gets real poopy when she's in estrus. And that's what's happening today. So we're going to do just a repeat of what we did last time, but in the opposite direction. This is my arm extension, just a piece of conduit. If I do get into the four cart, we use a lunge whip so we can reach all the way to their hips. Okay, step up, girls. Step up. Step up. We want to keep their hips together. 
Very nice. They're very soft. Very light. Step up G. We're going to go ha. Step up ha. We're going to go around the Cavalettis. Ha. Step up. Ha. Step up. Uh-oh. Cavalettis are in the way. All right, step up, ha. Huh? That kind of thing happens out on the field when you're farming. Good girls. Step up, ha. Huh? We're going to go around the tee. I hope my cameraman can zoom in. Step up, ha. Huh? Good girls. Step up, G. G. When we get to the driveway, let's take the lead lines off and just join us. Step up, ha, good. Step up, G, G, a little tug with my right drive line. We're going to take the lead lines off and just join up as we approach the camera. Step up. Step up, girls. In a moment. <laughs> okay, let's go, girls. Step up, step up, step up. Good, I use my arm extension rhythmically. Step up, G. Sarah, stay to Susie's left. And Kyle, you stay to Sila's right. I think they're trying to follow me. <laughs> that might be. They're also trying to follow Sarah. Now, as we re, uh, re-drive the same path, we're just going to stay joined up, not hooked up unless necessary. Step up, G. G, a little tug. We want them to know that they have to stay head on head and hip on hip, parallel. G, G. Step up, G. G, uh-oh. Not enough G. Let's see if we can back. That's OK. Let's, let me back them. Back, girls. Back, back, back. OK, you can see that our nylon strap between their hips on the back of the bridge and is working. They feel the pressure, so they're staying together. Now I'm going to put my arm extension in my left hand. Step up, girls. G. Step up, G. Very nice, girls. Step up. Step up, ha. 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 Step up. Step up. Good, good. Let's go around this stump. We'll go beyond. Step up, G. G. Very nice. Step up. There's some stumps here, too. Step up. Careful now, girls. What's Susie doing? Trying to eat. No, she's trying to eat. Let's bring that head up. Step 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 up, girls. Okay, we need a little bit more guidance here. They're not concentrating. They're not focusing on their work. Step up, ha. 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 Step up, ha. Good. Good girls. Step up. Good. Good. The yoke is keeping their heads together. Step up, ha. It's very, very debris-like here, but that's okay. Good girls. Good. Light. Soft, good. They're together. Step up, G. 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 When we get to the driveway, kind of fade away. I want to see if they'll listen to me. G. Step up, G. Nice. Nice, girls. Good girls. 
Now my join ups are fading away. We'll see if they'll listen to me. Step up. Step up, G. G. I've seen oxen be pulling logs together with just voice commands once they know what their job is. Step up, ha, ha. Coming right up to the camera. Step up, girls. Uh-oh, stop. She stopped. Step up. Step up. Good. Whoa. Whoa now, girls. Okay. I want to back them for a couple steps, and then we'll call that our note of resolution. Back. 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 Over. Over. Good. Back. 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 Back, I am tugging a little bit, back. They only have halters on. Good, a little more. Step up, G. Step up. Step up. Step up. And off we go. That's all for today. Steady, ho. Today we're gonna try to pull this fork cart with my heifers. But we're going to keep somebody at the head. It's a cold, dreary day. Uh, luckily, Rusty the bull is no longer being bullish, which means Susie is probably no longer an estrus. So we have their focus. But this isn't a nice sunny day. But we do want to see if we can do a straight path. If it's going well, we'll come back by going haw. Uh, around a few obstacles and on the um, the debris, the leaf and branch debris. Uh, but for now, if we can just get down the driveway, which is covered by sand and it's relatively clean and clear, we'd be happy for uh, finding our moment of resolution that way. And uh, we have a helper today, Jane, who's Sarah's mom and. She's going to be here. She does no livestock. She understands their prey nature if something spooks them. And she's going to try to help us by releasing the fork cart with the quick release if we get into trouble. Now, we've done this before, but it was in the middle of summer. It was really warm and sunny, and the heifers were just wonderful. Uh, but we want to finish out this uh, you know, end of fall show by doing it again, even in this uh, fall-like weather. And we are going to keep the, uh, the lines on their halters unless it seems like they're being just perfectly focused and perfectly stress-free, and then we'll do some join-up. Now let's see what happens. We're gonna try to move forward, uh, and we're gonna maybe go haw around some obstacles if it goes well. Otherwise, we'll just try to find a good note upon which to end today's session and probably do this again in the spring when it's warm and sunny. Okay, I'm going to be giving the instructions. I've got a little bit of shorter arm extension that has a string. If I need to uh, get to them, that lunge whip was a little bit long to be uh, in my hand while I'm driving with these cross check reins. So let's see if all our tools and our tack and our heifers and our helpers and me, Sonia Sokolo, the urban cowgirl, can uh, ask Susie and Sila to pull for farming. Step up, girls. Step up. Step up. Tugging a little bit. So far, so good. Stop, stop. Whoa. Aha. I'll tell you what. We never noticed this before. But did you see how the wheels of the cart and the uh, the slope of the driveway put this cart awfully close to the heifer's back legs. Easy, easy, girls. All right, so, Scott, if you could focus in on the front of this cart. That u bow, it's all right, girls, is not necessary uh, for this old hay cart to be a fork cart. So, Kyle, we're going to cut that off. Okay, and what else did you feel was happening? There was too much weight, and so this was just falling forward onto the... Aha! And so, 
we're going to have to, it's like cart driving. You have um, brakes on the shafts of the cart that's connected to the tack of the horse yeah. uh, that helps you from letting the cart go forward into, uh, you know, into the, the tack of the horses. So remember, this is all homemade. Uh, we don't have much to go by except for experience. And let me see, do we want to move on? Uh, or do we want to just continue another day when we've taken care of these problems that we just uncovered? What do you think, Kyle? Now that we're on the flat. It's just gonna, it's just gonna go forward, we, we have to stop. We have to stop. Yeah, so this is just. It's okay. And so it's just pulling this, this needs to be connected back here, and this is a break, like you were saying. Okay, so we're gonna connect the the uh, double yoke which we made here to the uh, to the sur singles with a solid or a chain connection. Which one? Whichever chain. Uh, just a chain. Okay. All right. Well, we'll stop the session today. Uh, see if we have the materials to make this extra tack uh, correction. It's all right, girls. And um, and we'll either start again today or another day when the weather is fine. Let me get out of the cart. Okay. It's all right, girls. Even that they're just standing here now is good. Very good. On this soon to be rainy day, all this clanking, all these pressures, all this weight, and. Uh, Having so many people around them, I consider this a wonderful note of resolution. And that's all for today, or at least for this session. Here's a postscript of what we have to do before the next session where we actually hook up. We added this quick release, which is a great tool in case of stress, but we added it with a quite a big carabiner, and we feel that we made it a little bit too long. We want it to be a much smaller carabiner that goes through this ring and uh, connects to the ring of our double yoke. Oh, as I mentioned before, we're going to cut this off. There's no reason to have this. It used to be a handle for when it was a hay cart. And then I grabbed some chain and we have a plan. Where's that piece that, we, do I have, oh, there. An, an existing piece of chain, we're about to cut it in half. We're gonna put some small clasps on it. We're gonna go from a ring here on the front towards the head of the sur single into here and back, right? Okay, see more at www.urbancowgirlchannel.com.